Guys, this is Techno DS7, and I will be showing you the setup for the Samsung Series 3 Chromebook. Um, so I've actually not set this up yet. I actually just plugged it in, and this is right after my unboxing video. Um, so I've not ever, never even powered this on yet, um, because it, it, strangely enough, it did not come with a charge on it. Um, so let's go ahead and set it up. Open it up, and whoa! Did you see those weird pixels for a second there? Uh, sorry for that kid crying in the background. Um, but here we are, we see uh, Chrome as soon as we open up the laptop. So it didn't even have to press the power button, I guess because it was charging and I opened it, sensed it, oh, it was open. Um, so it's starting up. Alright, here we are, it took about 15 seconds. Um, so welcome. English, United States, US keyboard, yes, select a network. Searching for Wi-Fi networks, and it does have found my uh, dual band network. Uh, you can't see that, but... Alright, so, um, yeah, it, it did find my dual band network, so it is dual band network uh, capable. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and connect to that. Click you away for a second. Um, now I did want to point out, it's a very strange, uh, thing, option. Um, come on, focus. I'm having trouble with focus. Alright, uh, since my camera's having trouble focusing, I'll just tell you this option. It says, share this network with other users. Now, I found that really strange option. I, I guess what that means is that if anyone with a Chromebook is around the house and they're looking for a Wi-Fi network, then they will have, uh, cov they will have access to it, which is really weird. So I'm not sure what that op option's supposed to mean, but... Whatever, I'll just leave it checked. I don't mind other people using my Wi-Fi network anyway, and I'm crowded with a bunch of other houses. So, I'm not worried about it at all. Um, so I'm going to hit connect, hit connect. See, it's trying to connect. And now it's connected, and I can click continue. All right, now we have Google Chrome OS terms. Optional, help make Chrome OS better automatically, sending usage statistics and crash reports to Google. Why not? Uh, accept and continue. Chrome updates, uh, anyway, I'm sure it's trying to say Chrome updates automatically so we don't have to do anything, which is nice. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign into my Google account real quick. While I'm doing that, you can read this other stuff that it's asking for, or that it's saying. Alright, so now I'm signing in. I'm really loving this keyboard so far. It feels great. It's not cheap feeling like the Acer Chromebook. Really great keyboard, very spacious and smooth and large, pretty large keys. Alright, so it looks like the first initial setup is quite longer than uh, I expected. They advertise 10 seconds, but that's only for waking up actually, but I guess the first setup takes some time. Alright, so finally, now I get to choose the option for my uh, wallpaper. Probably have apps on the Chrome Web Store as well to choose with wallpapers for your Chromebook home page. Um, so, I like, I currently, I really like the uh, uh, wallpaper that's already by default. By default, um, but this is actually my Google profile picture. Um, though I don't think it's fit for 11 inch screen and I don't know, I don't trust it. Um, you get bicycle, all the, that thing, 
chess, coffee with cookies, kiwi, jellyfish, dog, puppy thing, um, flower, what kind of flower, I don't know, I don't really care about flowers, but I know a lot of people do, so that's, hold on a sec, it just told me, I hovered over it, it says Gunzania flower, not sure what that is, um, a frog, frog, uh, whatever insect that is, that's kind of creepy. Uh, penguin, penguins are always awesome. Fish, uh, record player, um, and a, another uh, picture of a flower. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the default. Oh, that's my uh, webcam turning on, actually. But I don't know how to choose the, this one, actually, because it doesn't let me. Um, it's not, it's not, it doesn't let me actually keep whatever's, that's already set, which is unusual. Um, maybe if I just click out of it and click OK. Well, anyway. I just want to keep this wallpaper. And it's not letting me. Okay. I'm okay. How do I skip this? I guess I'll just have to change it later. Alright, so I'm not sure what it's doing now, but it didn't change my wallpaper, so I'm happy. Um, welcome to your Chromebook, a new computer from Google. Web app software uh, for your Chromebook. Uh, get to know your touchpad, um, which is the multi-touch uh, multi -touch features on the, on the touchpad, like that and that, and double tap with both fingers. Um, so it has some some of those built-in uh, Chrome features. Um, save a save and access uh, files. Um, and by the way, you can work uh, offline um, if you want to create a document, which is really useful. Um, so yeah, that is actually a lot of people complain that oh, if you're off the off the internet, you can't you can't work on a document. But no, you can use Google Docs, and that works offline, although it doesn't save automatically like Google Drive does. I've never used Google Docs offline, so I'm not sure how it works, how it saves. But I guess you just, like Microsoft Word, you just save it by doing File Save. Um, so where was I? Get to know your touchpad, save access files, work offline. So you work offline. Um, redeem your free offers which is the 5 gig, I don't even know how many gigabytes it comes with it when you buy the Chromebook, you get a whole bunch of gigabytes for your Google Drive account. Sorry, I don't know how many gigabytes, I just know it's a lot of gigabytes, like 100 or 500 or 50, I don't know, I know that's a big difference, but I really don't know, sorry. Um, so, uh, create documents, uh, chat, phone calls, and more, listen to music, edit photos, uh, I like editing photos, that's nice. Actually, I like editing videos, I wish it, it, I could do that. How to print, because um, you do have to set up a Google Cloud printer. Um, pick your wallpaper and more. Master your keyboard. Sync across all your devices. Stay safe online. It does have built-in uh, security software, so you don't have to worry about the McAfee or What's that? Norton? That junky Norton. Um, but yeah, so it has built in uh, uh, malware and, you know, just uh, security. So you don't have to worry about getting bugs and stuff. Uh, and, and yeah, sign up for updates. Need some help. Come back often to find updates and new tips. Just look uh, before I get started in the app list by clicking that button, which is actually this button right down here, right there, the apps button. Um, so, I'm done with that, let's see what else I can do now. So, so far I'm really liking this, I just got it again, um, close that, and so we have, uh, I'm free now. Um, so I have that beautiful, uh, wallpaper which I wanted to save. And you can see I actually have a window right behind me, and um, actually on the side of me, and it does have some glare on it, but it is a matte finish uh, display. So it is pretty glare resistive, 
although it doesn't look like that on camera, but it is really in real life. Um, and so, yeah. Um, down here, we have... I think you start out with this by default. I'm not sure. But um, we have Google Chrome, we have Gmail, we have Google Drive. And what's actually really nice about this um, is as soon as you sign on... Because the Chromebook just relies on your Google account. So whatever you download onto this when when you have it within the next year or two or whatever doesn't matter but whatever you download while you have this chromebook or any chromebook um and you for some reason you have to delete everything or something happens to uh the computer not computer but it, you know the chromebook um actually i would define this as a computer personally but anyway um so if you if something happens to your data your apps and stuff next time you sign into a uh, google chromebook um, you'll just have all your information back, all your apps and stuff, and how you set it up, how, how you set it up personally. Um, so you don't have to worry about losing anything. Um, and actually, it has some of the stuff I uh, go on a lot. So we have eBay web apps, eBay deals, um, Google Maps, Google Docs, so Plants vs. Zombies. Um, so I, I don't know if you know, but I do sell stuff on eBay, and I buy stuff and stuff on eBay, so he does know I like that. Um, and we have games and stuff, Hangouts Call, um, Camera Files. Um, now before, a long time ago, when this first, when the Chromebook was a new thing, they didn't let you really transfer files between a phone, like an Android phone or tablet, but now you are able to do that. I tried that at Best Buy, and you are able to do that by plugging into the USB port or SD card slot, whatever. But you can—that's how you access your files from SD card or your built-in memory or uh, USB. Um, so you have Google Play Music too. Um, so whatever music you have on your Android device, you will have it on here. Um, and by the way, you do switch between the application uh, list by by just doing like that. With two of your fingers, you turn to the right, turn to the left. You see it just that's how I switch. So that's a fast way of switching between the app drawers. Um so let's go ahead and take a real quick look at the Chrome Web Store, what they have available now, because it has been about I don't even know, like eight months, maybe a year, maybe a little bit less, but it's been a while since uh Chromebooks were available, so they should have a good amount of stuff. Though I am surprised that they still don't have Skype, so I'm going to go ahead and search Skype uh, in the Google uh, Chrome Web Store. So Skype, and you see they do not have Skype available, but they advertise for Hangouts Call, which is pre-installed, because that is basically the only kind of um, webcam calling you can do um, with your webcam with a Chromebook. Um, so unfortunately it doesn't come with Skype, which I find really disappointing. I find really unusual, I guess. Um, but, yeah, you do have an alternative Hangouts call, but it isn't popular worldwide. Um, but, yeah, that's what you get. That is what's available. So let's go ahead and take a look at popular. Um, you have YouTube, Google Play, Gmail Offline. That's pretty nice. Um, Solitaire. Uh, Kindle Cloud Reader. Google Drive, Google Plus, Weather Channel, Google Maps, um, SkyDrive, Dropbox, Spotify, Angry Birds, Webcam Toy, Picasa, um, Cut the Rope. Oh, we actually have Pac-Man. That's pretty nice. Um, and yeah, so I'm not gonna go and go over everything, but they have some games available and some apps. That's pretty nice. Um, so let me go ahead and close that actually. So that was my um, setup and first look of the Samsung Google Chromebook. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments or requests, um, please post. And thanks for watching.